Alright, hello, welcome back everybody, PayPal and Patreon down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So, after a long pause, lithium prices have resumed, rising infinitely upward. Converting over to dollars per kilogram, they had just gotten above 70 around the early part of this year when the invasion of Ukraine happened, and that threw all kinds of markets into uncertainty. So no one was really sure what was going to happen. And even though electric vehicle production and electric vehicle sales didn't stop, they just kept going this whole time, like with many other things, the market still just ignored that up until just the last month or so. And now it's going to have to catch up to those months and months of just ignoring the supply reality. And so for the moment, over the last week or two, it's gone from around 70 up to 77 or 78 dollars per kilogram and is probably not really stopping anywhere around this level it's almost definitely going into triple digits as demand is only going up since it looks like total production of electric vehicles this year is going to be around 8 million versus last year's six and a half million or so and global lithium production output from lithium mines has kind of faltered a bit for the last few years so that's not putting things in that great of a place. Nor is nickel supply really in all that great of a place. In fact, even as China's real estate and construction industry is starting to cave in on itself, dropping by 8% as of September, and probably by like 11% or so by the end of the year. Despite the reduction in nickel demand for steel that all that halted construction has caused, the continued increase of nickel demand for all the new electric vehicle batteries has still been enough to keep drawing nickel inventories down. With nickel inventories in storage, excess nickel supply, down to now only around 50,000 tons in storage or so, excess tons on hand. Compared to back in the early 2010s, nickel inventories were somewhere between 400 and 600,000. Now they're all the way down to 50. And keep in mind, although production has just started, of various other types of vehicles now, like electric pickup trucks and some electric delivery vans, as well as very small numbers of electric freight trucks. The overwhelming majority, as in upper 90s percentages, of these EVs being manufactured are still just regular sized EV versions of personal automobiles. It's going to be a whole nother stacked level of demand once they start trying to make high numbers of the EV versions of other things. But that's it for now for this quick episode. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. You can support me through PayPal or Patreon. Just only do so if you actually can. Or go subscribe to my Catch channel. Help us get her up to a thousand subs before the monetization deadline. Which is only a month or a month and a half away. But no matter what happens to me, may God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.